Hi, so this is my first tutorial. Uh, I did ask people what they wanted to see and then promptly forgot about what you'd all voted for. So here's a cat's face tutorial. So first we're going to portion up the cat's face so that we can see from a, a photo what we're referencing. So you can see that the, the eyes line up with uh, the middle of the ear angle of where you, where you put the eyes uh, can give you a, an idea of the depth um, and also how round the muzzle is, where the muzzle is, that's going to impact how much personality the cat has. And then put my little circle on for where I want the muzzle to be and where the nose is and then you can sort of work from there to figure out where you all want the other parts of the cat to be. Uh, the ears tend to line up with the middle of the eye. Then you can add like other features like their expression. Floof is, is very important to make them floofy. There are a few stylized parts you can probably see. I like putting little cat eyebrows on things because I just think it gives them a little bit of character. And the dots on the eyes I feel are, are very important because they sort of bring some life to the, the cat character. Now a, a three quarters cat I find is quite a bit more challenging than the sort of symmetrical cat because of how the, the muzzle sort of plays into where the eyes are and you can see on this drawing how many times I revised it and changed it but we're using the same sort of proportions, the ear starts at the middle of the eye. The only real difference is making that muzzle sort of a 3D shape and maybe changing the shape of the eye. I also wanted to add in a little mini how to make your cat into a warrior cat tutorial to make up for the fact that I didn't do the dragon. So when you have a warrior cat, I find it best that you need to pick which feature is going to be your, your main feature. So for this one I decided that I wanted a really big nose and to go with that I wanted to give him some some smaller ears so that the the nose stands out a bit more. Got some sort of fluff on his muzzle to make him almost look like he's, a, he's an old older warrior. He's a little bit scrawny and scraggly. He's very much sort of an adventurous cat not so much of a fighting cat. And as is customary with all worry cats, the biggest, the biggest part of it is adding as many scars as humanly possible. You know, the more scars the better, half the face missing, also absolutely fine. If you don't have a minimum of 16 scars on a warrior cat, then they're not really a warrior cat. So in a second I'm going to show you the final piece after I'd you know, coloured it, redrawn it, uh, all that sort of thing. But I just want to say a big thank you because I've hit quite a few milestones with the subscribers and it's just really nice that everyone's you know, decided to, to stay and I hope you enjoy the stuff in the future. So I'm going to show you the, the finished warrior now, so I hope you like him. was smashing!